Oh, my maker. You cannot imagine how many letters I've received about the fracar at Halam Shiral. Fortunately, you tied twice as many threads as cut. Although it is yet bewildering at the center. There are problems coming out of Halam Shiral. There are always problems from Halam Shiral. We've lost a few contracts, but more than made up for it. Although, if a few commendations were given, it might retie some severed threads. I couldn't suggest how. That is better decided at your war table, and I'm not going near that thing. How's it going? Do we have what we need? With Skyhold shining like a beacon? You name it, it's here or on the way. I've wrung out the slackers, given them what for. I think... I think I like this job. As you are. We are here for you, Inquisitor. Of course. Another time. Could be better. no problem with Orlesians, but Halam Sharal was a mess. At least under the Hune, you don't get everyone tripping on each other's dicks while the country goes to crap. Corypheus had agents sowing dissent and muddying the waters. That's just it. Orle is so vulnerable. If you killed everyone in the Triumvirate, the Kuhn would survive unchanged. Uh, I don't know. The Kuhn isn't perfect, but it doesn't care what any single person wants. Orle is full of people who care about nothing else. How you doing? See you later, Bo. Nice talking with you, boss. Your Worship. Can you think of any other tasks suitable for the judges? A few Orlesian nobles didn't like how things ended at the Winter Palace. They're not rebelling outright, but they brought in mercenary companies in preparation. The judges have a good reputation. If we go in, we can buy the companies out from underneath them. The nobles will lose the men they met for causing trouble, and the Inquisition gets some fresh blood. We'll talk later. I'd like to know more about you, now that you're comfortable. Pose. It's embarrassing enough now, may as well. Anything more to say about where you came from, aside from hating cookies there? Denerim, mostly. Before running into another Jenny. He was fun. Had weird friends, though. I think some of them were a lot more serious about being serious. Got some of them killed. I suppose they were like family. Better than Lady Emold ever was. You know why? They didn't give two squirts about who or what you were. It was all what you did. Do you remember your actual family at all? Your parents? Well, there is the amulet I had as an orphan that has a missing piece. And look at your face. You believe me? No, still no parents. I remember an alienage with assholes and hating that stupid tree. The one elves always have. Of all the things to pray at, they could at least pick one with apples. So is that who showed you how to fight? Gave you your skills? Nobody gave me anything except a chance. And maybe some lessons to start, but mostly just the chance. I took that and ran. So where are the rest of them? All over. Or they stopped to let new people go all over. Some get rich and stop playing so they can do good things with it. One or two don't. Eventually, someone asks for a favor against them. So don't get like that, you hear? Denerim is a long way from Orlais. How'd you get there? By Stinky Horse? Sarah, 
Denerim wasn't much fun after the blight. Everyone trying to recover, you even feel bad for the nobles. But Val Royo, that's a fat city full of fat heads. They just don't know when to stop. You saw it. Ole is rich and stupid. Right for the pickings. It's nice to see this side of you, that you trust me. Don't you go blabbing around, yeah? Because I'll have a big trusting foot up your pucker. We'll talk later. If you say so. Your worship. Inquisitor, you have done much, but have you the stomach for the Quizquisition? The what? It begins now, and there is a timer. Chantry Belique centers on the enigmatic Maker and his bride. Name her traitorous husband. I will guess... Arlathan. Incorrect. An unfortunate lap. Want a drink? I've a hankering for company. When I was a boy, there were these urchins who roamed the streets near my father's house. One day they found a dog, a wretched little thing. It came to them for food. I caught it, tied a rope around its neck, and strung it up. Do you know what I did? You stopped them. Cut the dog down. I did nothing. Not a damn thing. It was crying. I saw the kicking legs. The neck straining and twisting, and I turned around, went inside, and closed the door. I could have told my father, or alerted someone. I didn't. I just pretended it wasn't happening. You said you were just a boy. I was old enough to know the dog was suffering and that it was wrong. I may as well have tied the noose myself. We could make the world better. It's just easier to shut our eyes. Nothing worth doing is easy. <laughs> Look at you. You would have done the right thing. We're lucky there are people like you in the world. There's always some dog out there. Some fucking mongrel that doesn't know how to stay away. Our heroes strode the winding road, defiant of the vile. Inquisitor. A title hard to rhyme. A challenge for another day, I think. Forgive me my distractions, Eminence. I'm overwhelmed by you and what you've done.